this is for the person that is sitting wondering if God will take you back into his heart into his arms into his kingdom this is for the person who is sitting in depression sitting with a grieving heart wondering if God will ever forgive them of their sins and and receive them back into his heart and into his kingdom God will there is nothing so great that you can do that will turn the heart of God away from you God is a forgiving God all you have to do is come to him come to him in with a genuinely pure heart and and ask him to forgive you of your sins ask him to take you back into his heart ask him to to write your name back into the book of life there is nothing there is nothing so great that god cannot forgive god is a forgiving god he is a merciful god he is a loving god he is a kind god but you have to do the work of coming to him and and submitting yourself before him and asking him to forgive you of your sins asking him to wash you clean of unholiness asking him to fill you with his holy spirit so that he can remove all the impurities and all the blemishes and all the stains and replace them with the fruits of his spirit with the with the goodness of his character but you have to do the work. You have to come to him. You have to submit yourself before him. God is there. He never removes himself from us. We remove ourselves from him. He is there waiting for you to come back to him, waiting for you to call out to him, waiting for you to say, God, forgive me, forgive me of my sins. Lord, bless me with your righteousness. Turn me, transform me into a new creation. All you gotta do is go to him. You have to plant yourself before God and he is there willing to take you back with an open heart, with the unconditionally. He is there waiting to bless upon you his forgiveness. He is there waiting to anoint upon you the goodness of his kingdom. But you have to do the work and come to God. You have to submit yourself before God and say to God, I am a sinner coming to you asking for forgiveness, asking for you to have mercy and to have compassion on me and to change me, Lord, and make me a pleasing sight in your eyes. God is there. There is no sin too great that God cannot forgive. <sighs> Remember the sinners on the cross that hung beside Jesus? <clears throat> God forgave the one. He forgave the one because he humbled himself before Jesus and said, I am a sinner. Please forgive me. Don't forget me. Have mercy on me. Have compassion on me. I know that you are the Lord Almighty. I know that God is Almighty. That's all you got to do. Confess before God that he is God Almighty. Ask him for his forgiveness. And he will. And he'll take you back. And he'll love on you. And he'll use you. He'll clean you up and he'll use you for his goodness. All you have to do is come to him. There is nothing so great that you can do that God cannot forgive. God says he is a forgiving God, a merciful God, a compassionate God, slow to anger. That means that he knows, he knows your faults. He knows your weaknesses. He knows, you know, what we go through as human beings. And he's there to forgive all of that. He's there to pour out his spirit upon you and make you a new creation in him. All you got to do is come to him. So this is for the one who was sitting in grief and in sadness and depression and in um loneliness of heart right who is sitting just there in doubt wondering you know who is scared to go to god because they think that god god doesn't love them or won't love them or can't love them that's a lie from the devil god can love you god loves you god will love you god will take you into his arms and into his heart he will take you into his kingdom he will write your name in the book of life he will he will white out all of your blemishes but you have to come to him you have to submit to him you have to give up those things that separate you from the love of God you have to be willing to sacrifice all of those things that make the flesh happy and take up all of those things that make the spirit happy.
because those two things are contrary to one another they cannot one has to be one has to be tossed to the side for the other one to prevail in life in our lives so just know that just know that god loves you you don't have to you don't have to sit in doubt and you don't have to sit in worry and you don't have to sit in that grief you don't have to sit in that brokenness you don't have to sit in that deception god loves you and he's there waiting for you to come back to him you know as long as you have breath in your body as long as god is breathing breath into your body you have opportunity to be forgiven you have opportunity to come to god and ask him for his mercy and his compassion and ask him to take you back into his heart as long as god is breathing breath into your body and as long as god is you know giving you the gift of life you have every opportunity to come to him and to ask him to forgive you of your sins that's it ask him ask him to forgive you of your sins repent of your sins be washed clean and submit yourself to the kingdom of heaven in jesus name amen